All right, you know that feeling when someone throws you something and you catch it really well, like with one hand or you save it from nearly dropping or you caught it from a massive distance and everyone around you lights up like, Yo! Good catch! Nice! I want to live in that feeling. It is so pure. So my anxiety has a loophole that if somebody else is equally or more uncomfortable, I develop the sudden ability to do the thing. Bro, I can't go and ask for more ketchup for myself, but if my friend wants more ketchup, I am out of my seat in a second. Lies I have told. I always tell people that my cat doesn't really like people that much, even though she is really cuddly, so they feel special when she cuddles them. <gasps> you are the best person! So one time a stranger on Neopets years ago told me, School makes you think you have to be good at everything, but sometimes it's okay to just be good at one thing, even if it's not something you get a grade for. They don't grade you for being a good person. And to be honest, I still think about it. Little did I know all I needed this whole time was in glowing purple text and that icon of the goth fairy. Scientists invented a pill that enables dogs to fully speak and understand English. It lasts for 10 minutes and will only work one time. You give a pill to your 12-year-old border collie, whom you've had since they were a pup. Your dog immediately says, All right, listen very carefully. You have always been the good boy. You get down on yourself, but the good boy was you all along. Heart. Good morning, cruel world. Uh, don't you mean goodbye? No, I meant good morning. This world may be cruel, but I'm still kicking. This really cheered me up. All right, do me a favor. Go outside, look at the moon. The moon's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, take a picture of the moon. Oh, no, bad picture. It looks like a weird dumb speck. But the moon's so pretty. You know you're really pretty, too. Cameras aren't very nice sometimes, but you're still pretty. Just like the moon. I was in line at Aldi and this girl with two toddlers in front of me had her card declined and she looked so freaking sad and said, let me call my husband real quick. And it was only $18. So I just paid for it and she was very sweet. And then when she walked off, the lady behind me said, you know, that was probably a scam, right? And I was like, even if it was, like, what a sad scam, right? $18 at the Aldi's? If you're scamming me for some Tyson chicken and apple juice and cauliflower, then just take my money, please. A scam. People are friggin' wild. I just shamelessly ran after an ice cream truck. There is no shame in chasing after your dreams. You're an inspiration. Was it really necessary for me to be born? Nah, probably not. However, double chocolate chip cookies aren't really necessary either, but I wouldn't want to live in a world without them. That's the most uplifting thing I've read all day. Yo, Bruno Mars used to almost excessively drop sad ass songs about unrequited love, or lost love, or whatever. Now he's just out there dropping one feel-good banger after another. Like, what kind of goals? Give me them goals, boy! I want them goals! Alright, just because you don't look like somebody who you think is attractive doesn't mean you aren't attractive. Flowers are pretty, but so are Christmas lights, and they look nothing alike. I really like this. I needed this. And just remember... When times get rough, don't give in. Keep smiling, keep going forward, and maybe, just maybe, keep dancing. Thank you guys so much for watching. On the subject of wholesome things, I have a wonderful project I'd like to share with you all. So I don't know how many of you have read the comic series uh, Hearts for Sale or The Heartsmith. I think the titles interchange depending on where you see it. But it is a very, very sweet comic and it is one of my absolute favorites because not only does it really kind of do a really good romantic thing, it has a very heartfelt way of storytelling. And honestly, after hearing about this project, I'm so excited to see it happen because of all the comics that deserve it, this is the one that absolutely deserves it. Hartsmith is getting an animated short film done by these guys, and it is beautiful. The concept art looks amazing. The characters are so adorable, and they look how they should feel in the comics. And I, I, wanna, I want you guys to check them out on Kickstarter because they are just doing a fantastic job recapturing this comic into a film. And they could really use your help to get it off the ground. And the best part is, the best part, because as if getting the movie wasn't enough, the best part is all the extra money that they make for the Kickstarter campaign will be going to child heart care centers. Just, just go check out the Kickstarter. I cannot embellish on this enough. You, you guys are going to love it. So thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Maybe we'll do some more wholesome content again.